This is an algorithm which, when given a list of friends and mutual friends, can find the largest group of people in which all of the people know each other. So now I'm going to run the program. Say I'm friends with A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. A is friends with C and D and E. C B is friends with F and G. C is friends with A, D is friends with A, E is friends with A, F is friends with B and G, and G is friends with B and F. So the largest group is F and B and G, and whenever I refer to a group, that's a group in which everyone knows each other. So here's how the code works. It splits up the list of friends, and it splits up the list of mutual friends into separate arrays that map to each other. Then it orders both of those arrays based off of number of mutual friends, from most mutual friends to least mutual friends. And then it starts to put them into groups. This procedure is repeated for every friend. The friend is put into a new group. The list of mutual friends is checked in order. Each time a friend's mutual friends contain all of the members of the group being formed, that friend is added to the group. Each potential grouping gets put into an array. Then it sorts the groups from largest to smallest. Then it outputs the largest group. This is a version of the previous algorithm, which rather than taking an input of friends and mutual friends, takes an input of number of friends and randomly generates the rest. So here's a couple of examples of it being used. It's not perfect, but I used it to mimic an average case scenario for my complexity analysis. I found the average number of steps it took for every 10 numbers between 1 and 100, and also numbers 1 through 10. And they found a function that fit that graph. It's not perfect, it's obviously a little bit off from the dots, but it's pretty close, um, as you can see when looking at it. It's the dotted line right there, and the green points are the points from my tests. So here's my results from the previous algorithm. And the green line, the lowest line, shows the number of steps it takes when nobody is friends with each other. So it's a very low number of steps. And the red line is when everybody is friends with each other. And the orange line is the average case when half the people are all friends with each other. The purple line is the previous function from the other one and it matches up really well with the average case. So that's my algorithm.